today we'll be doing on basic configuration. So here we have, we need to select a router here. So a router selected here, 2911 here. 2911 router here. So we need to have two routers and a switch. Here we have a switch, 2960. And then we can to select two devices. So we have a PC here. We have a laptop here. So here we're going to select gigabit 00. And I'm going to select gigabit 01 here. Here we're going to select FA01. Here we are selecting file Cifernet 0. Here I'm going to select FA02. I'm going to connect it with the laptop. Next, I'm going to select, uh, here we're going to put a serial cable to connect these two routers. So let's see, I'm going to click on the router, router, double click on it. Physical, then I'm going to switch off this router. I come to Edge Week 2T, click here. So next, I have a serial card. I'm going to put it here, then I switch it on. I'll do the same thing here because else I will not be able to connect the serial cable. So HWIC 2T, I'm going to power off. I'll use this and I'm going to put it here. I put it on again. Good. So now what we're going to do, I want this to be a DCE and here DTE. So here we're going to select where is the clock here. Serial zero zero here serial zero zero. So here we have a clock. So if you want this if this is here, so you, you need to have a clock that appears here that synchronizes. So and then now we're going to start doing the configuration. I'll start on this one. CLI. Would you like to enter the initial configuration? I'm going to type no, enter. Now you see you are on router greater. So here I have router greater. Router greater, this means we are in user exec or known as executive mode here only only basic commands can be executed it is also known as a view only mode it is also known as a view only mode so now what we're going to do we are going to we have router greater i want to enter privilege exec mode i'm going to type en in full it's enable enter so then i get router this router this gives this is now we we are now in this indicates that we are in privileged exec mode. We can execute monitoring commands here. So, uh, most of them, most of the monitoring commands can be executed here. All right. So here I'm going, it's this. Now I want to make configuration to my router. So to be able to perform configurations, 
to configure my router I should enter I should say configure terminal or simply CONF space T so now I am in global configuration mode so all configuration they are done at this level because here we have config so now we're going to configure here I have router I want this device name to become to be called another name let's say I want the name to be called Africana so I'm going to type her name so to configure uh, configure the device name or router name or whether it is a switch it's the same com command Hurst name, we're going to put it a free can. All right. So now you see it has changed. Now I want to configure the password. Here, when we, we move from user exec mode to enter privilege exec mode, we have we didn't have to put any password, it just entered. So if someone wants to come and make modification to our configuration mode it would be a hacker could easily access so we're going to start putting some security in the beginning on my router now from user exec mode to come to privilege exec mode i want to configure an encrypted password so to configure an encrypted password to access privilege exec mode so what do i type i'll say enable secret let's say i'm going to put it coconut 12 then dollar fine coconut dollar uh, 12 dollar sign this will be my password to access the privilege exec mode now let's see i'm going to come out of configuration mode here so when i come out of the configuration mode what happens I'm going to come out again and exit. So I'm back to user exec mode. When I'm user exec mode, to come to privilege exec mode, I have to type enable en. Now I have a password. Previously I didn't have password, now I have it. So the password is coconut12. And when you're going to type a password, you will not see the password. You need just to see the keyboard, watch your keyboard and type. Next, if I want now to show you something. If I want to see uh, my configuration done, so I do show run. So it's going to display the configuration. And show run, you see I've put her name Africana. Enable secret. This means it has encrypted the password. You cannot see the password. Okay, the rest we haven't configured yet. This is one thing. Now, to save a configuration, we can put write memory. That's one way to do it. I'm going to do a write memory. memory. Then I'm going to reload. Proceed with reload, yes. So I've saved the memory. I've used the command write memory. Reload will restart the router. Okay. So now you see we haven't lost. Because I've saved the configuration, we haven't lost the first name. And all the other configuration are still here. So here I type. Oops. Don't mistake here. All right, it's coconut 12. Now I want to configure a password so that when we access the router, before getting the user exec mode, when I access the router, I want the, the router to ask me for a password before accessing the router. So here I'm going, again, I'm going to go in global configuration mode. When I go to global configuration mode here, what happens? I'm going to type line con zero password Cisco uh, 
let's put it Cisco one two three four five login so what I have done here I have configured a password to be able to access the router so again I'm going to save reconfiguration so one way of doing it was to type write memory now I'm going to show you another command copy run start so copy run start will also save the configuration so it's going to save a running configuration whenever i'm making changes to the device okay whenever i'm making changes to the device so it is working in the rom in the running configuration mode when i save it it goes into the startup configuration mode i'm going to reset the router so that you see the password has been configured so copy run start running configuration is when we are making changes to the device so these changes are found in the rom we are working in the rom if there is a power cut we're going to lose all our configuration so that's why it's important to save our configuration. When it is saved, it goes into the startup config file. And that's when the, the router is booting, it's going to take information from the startup configuration file. And the startup configuration file is stored in the NVRAM. Now here, when I'm entering, previously we were not asked this, user access verification, so I have to right here we had created cisco one two three four five it was a password configured for entering the router so now i get africana now i get the user exec mode so i'm going to type en here then i'm going to put password uh, it was coconut 12 dollar good so now i'm back in my privilege exec mode next configuration i'm going to show you on this router if we were to access this router remotely so for router it's line vty 04 oops on configuration mode of course global configuration mode line vty 04 password cisco i'm going to put it same thing one two three four five login so to access remotely, to telnet the router remotely, then we have to use this password, Cisco12345. All right. So when I come back here, show run. So you get this, we get the password here. line con you see line vty you can see but i don't want anyone to see the password in my running configuration file i want all password in my configuration file to be encrypted so for that i have to do a, another configuration here i'll say here service password dash encryption so what i have done now i have uh, encrypted the password that's found in my configuration file again let's see show run let's name enable secret See, now you can't see the password previously you were able to see the password so here it's already encrypted so this command service password dash encryption is used to encrypt the password in the configuration file all the password in the configuration file next i want to create a banner Banner means before when someone is going to access your router, there must be a message saying that only authorized users will be able to access this router. So that hackers know they are not allowed to get access to our router. So 
Banner MOTD percent. So you, this person could be any other symbol. It could be ampersand, dollar, provided that you, when you're going to end your message, you're going to put this again there so that it knows that you've reached the end of your message. Now, unauthorized access will be prosecuted right. unauthorized access are strictly prohibited all right so i've put a percent in the beginning here by an MOTD, it indicates the start and the end of the message here it goes if i didn't put the percent i would not get i will not be able to get this prompt now let's see where it appears so now we're going to do a save first so i'm going to say copy run start i'm going to save my configuration now i'm going to reload because i want to restart my route because i want to see the message that i've just created good so you see now the message is here previously we didn't have that message now we have it before i put my password to enter the router so here it was cisco one two three four five good next to enter privilege it was coconut twelve dollar good let me do a show run now Show run to see the running configuration, to see all my configuration done. So I've configured her name, I've configured a secret password, encrypted password. Okay, here. Yeah. You press enter to go down, enter, enter slowly. So here you see the banner you've created the line the console line that you had configured and telnet line that you have configured good now i want to remove all configuration that i have done on my route so how do we do the remove all configuration so we are going to type erase startup dash config so this removes all, erase all configuration done on our router. It asks you to confirm, you press enter. So you will not be able to see, you will not see the all the configuration go, gone yet until you reset your router. So after erase startup dash config, you have to reload. You see, you still see Africana. So all configuration has not go, uh, is not gone yet. It's not showing that it has been deleted it's only after a reload that you'll be able to see the changes so we again with reloading the router to see the changes see it's gone would you like to enter no again i'm going to do no and everything is gone i have now router greater africana is gone here i do a show run everything is gone so let's do it again so i'm going to enter the configuration to, uh, mode now i want to show you something now i type con i press tab key to complete the command so tab key is used to complete the command then i'm going to write t again i'm going to press tab key terminal it does the same thing like i was typing only conft why i was typing conft 
let's go back again because when you do CONF you do a question mark the only command that exists that start with CONF is configure that's why I could type it T uh, CONF only T again I do a question mark here but the only command that starts with T is terminal that's why I could type CONF T it's as simple as that now we can figure again the device name so it's host name let's put it again Africana we again to configure a password an encrypted password to access the router enable password I'm going to put it again coconut $12 a password to enter the router line con zero password cisco one two three four five now i want to do something else here i want to tell the router that to time out if there is if the the router is under user exec mode and it is idle it remains idle for let's say some three minutes i'm going to do exact timeout three when i say login by default after 10 minutes the router will automatically log out but me i don't want to leave it 10 minutes I'm going to put it three minutes. If for three minutes it's idle, it's going to come out. All right. Now, to come out of a privilege exec mode, there are two ways. We can do end. I'm going to show you two ways. END, you come back here. Again, if you enter. If I press here, I put press Control Z, it comes out again. So these are the two ways uh, I've shown you. To come out of privilege exec mode. I come out to uh, privilege exec mode. From configuration mode, I'm coming out to privilege exec mode. Good. Now we can, I'm going to show you some more command. If we have show, I've done show run. Let's do show question mark. This is known as context sensitive help, where after show command, I want to know which commands I can use. So you can go through the different commands that you can go through with a question mark and then you type the command. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to configure SSH. configure SSH so to configure SSH first you have to ensure that the host name has been configured in this case yes we we first thing we did we configured Africana so this is the first step to ensure or to to check before configuring SSH because if the device name is not configured you have to configure it next we have configure the uh, step two you will have to configure the domain name ip domain name let's say i'm going to put it uh, the name chronica.com okay so here it goes. I've configured a domain name. I'm going to write it down. Chronica.com Then I'm going to configure the RSA keys. So we have to generate the keys that are that's going to encrypt the SSH traffic. We have to generate a key to encrypt the SSH traffic. So for this, we have to type crypto key generate RSA general dash keys 
modulus, I'm going to put it 1024. The SSH enable. So we've configured the crypto key generate RSC general dash keys modulus 1024. The, we could put it up to 2048 bits. But the bigger the key is, the more time it takes to process. Next, we have to do, we have to create a, a local database entry. I'm going to put it username Bob password bubbles $12. Write it down. Bubbles $12 and the username is Bob. All right. Next, we have to enable the VTY inbound SSH session. So it's a router, so it's line VTY 04. You can put the exact timeout if you want. Then I'm going to put transport input SSH login local or if you wanted to put a line another line for password you could maybe that's the command to be used so that uh the configuration that i have done so now i want to so I've, what i have done i've configured ssh so these were the five steps to configure ssh Again, I want to save a configuration. I can do write mem. Why write mem? Because again, wr, we don't have any other command. I can put it wr mem. We don't have any other command which can be uh, starting with m. So uh, with mem. So write mem. So I've saved the configuration. So, uh, I think uh, I'll do. Now I want to configure the IP address for this interface. So we know here we have gigabit 00. zero. So interface gigabit 00. zero. Like on global configuration mode interface gigabit zero slash zero it's not percent it's zero slash zero ip address let's say i put it 117 16 0 172.16.10.1 and i'm going to put it three times 255 255 255 zero all right when we can figure an interface we can put a description saying description saying lan connectivity all right put this as the name then when we can figure description with an s so then we have to put the link up so we put no shut so when we can figure the interface we put an ip address we have to put no shut and the IP address here we have put is 172.16.10.1. And the subnet mask is 3 times 255.0. Good. Now we have to configure the PC. So this becomes the gateway for these two devices. So how to go out of a network, gateway means how the, those workstations will be able to access the internet. To go out of the network, this is their gateway. This is where they have to pass through. This, they have to go through this interface to get out of the network. So this becomes the gateway. So what, if we want to have internet on our workstation, so we have to come here on desktop, IP configuration. 
172, 16, 10. I'm going to put it 10, 10. 3 times 255.0. And then here I put 172, 16, 10, 1. So now I've configured three values need to be configured to get access to the network, IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. So I'll do the same thing for my laptop. Okay. Here I'm going to put one, no, I'm going to put 10.10.10.1. I'm going to put 255, 255, 252. Here, you don't put the gateway. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. I'm, yeah, I'm doing 10. I'm not doing 10. I'm doing 172. Same network it is. 172. It's 172 because it's in the same LAN. Dot sixteen dot ten dot let's put it fifteen three times two five five dot zero one seventy two sixteen ten one as gateway. So here it was one seventy two sixteen ten ten. Here I've put it ten fifteen. The subnet must remain the same on both workstations. Even on this interface here, it's the same subnet mask because it pertains to the same network. If we were to configure this switch, I'm going to show you how to configure switch in the next uh, next uh, YouTube. So this also would have had the same subnet mask. Good. So now you see the link are up. Now we're going to configure this one. So we'll come here. We configure interface serial 000, IP address one. Uh, I'm going to put here when it's another network. So 10, 10, 10, 1. 255, 255, 255, 255, No shut. Good. So that's how we configure the interface here. Here we have a clock rate. It's DCE. So we need to add clock rate. On a DC interface, we have to add clock rate. So I'm going to put the right router name here, Mexicana. Has name. I can just put H. Mexicana. Good. And uh, I'm going to configure the interface. It's serial zero zero zero. IP address. That was ten 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 one. I, I think so. It's two here. Two five five two five five two five five two five two. No shut. It's up. This one, ten, 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 one. Okay, it's ten, 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 two. Is it? Yeah. So now I want to check whether my PC is getting access. Uh, I'm going to go to the command prompt. Ping one seventy two sixteen ten one. It gets the four echo replies. This means, and you, you see here, lost 0%. So when you get lost 0%, this means that we have configured our device correctly. Good. So the same thing applies here, or you can use this packet to check if it's, Binging, it's successful, router 7 to router 8. So you see the configuration correct. All right, so that's it for the basic configuration. Thank you.